What's up, YouTube? This is Gene Chax, dude. So, um, out here in front of my house once again. Um, I was recently asked to make a video of um, my CRX and whatnot, but I, you know, out here in Vegas, it's it's pretty deep. Uh, also in California, uh, you don't want to be flashing off too much stuff. Um, people see it and their hands start to get sticky. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm not not trying to lose any of my my CRXs or any of my cars again. Uh, in 2006, I lost my uh, 2000 uh, Civic EX Coupe. Uh, it looked just like the one that I have over here. Um, and all they took was uh, my my uh, Rota C8, the MF8 knockoffs. And so the Mugen, Mugen MF8 knockoff. So yeah, you know, it's 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 pretty pretty tough for me to, to open up about that and uh you know I just and just be candid or whatever. Um so yeah, that's one of the reasons I I not really a big fan of real wills, but um uh ironically this this video is kind of about real wills. So um Currently, I have in front of my house, I have uh, this 89 um, DX CRI, and then I have my Y49 under, under this cloak here, and then um, this here is my baby, 89 CRX SI. Uh, I got the EDM. Um, wing on there, um, the sunroof visor, I think that's a pr off of a Prelude, um, these are drag, uh, MF10 knockoffs, got those bad boys on there, um, got the HKS exhaust, got my CRX dude license plate, that's some eBay, uh, an eBay um, tow hook, and then I got the uh, the center garnish here. I had I have the side tail lights um, that match those, but they're cracked, so I'm not running them. Um, this is the I don't even know which one it is. I think it's has the uh, letters that are raised, so I like that, and it matches. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to the 88, 89 uh, tail lights just because my car is uh, um, 89 SI. Got the NorCal CRX owners uh, sticker there. Navy vet, gotta represent. Uh, August, just the Japanese hot rod. Um, as you can tell, my sunroof needs to be replaced. I got a couple of replacements for that. Uh, this one has a lot of rust spots and holes forming. Need some body work here. But it is what it is. Got my SI front lip down there. Engine bay is nothing really flashy. Uh, I'll have AC in here once I'm all done with it. Uh, my spoon, spoon, accents. Um, and then I got the uh, GC ground control coilovers. And yeah, nothing else really special in here. The new speed bar, the stock uh, insulator, hood insulator. On the inside, I uh, just got my spoon uh, shift knob. I got my Rover valve cover over there. I got like knockoff personal box. Got the Pioneer. I got my climate control. And I got the my Sheldon squash. If you want to know what my car smells like, that's what it smells like. 
I always keep those in here. Um, oh, so I got a few other things. Uh, I got a fog light switch over there. Got another fog light switch over here. Um, but no fog lights, of course. And got my armrest there. What else I got in the back here? Let's see if that actually worked. Normally, it's been kind of sticking. Hopefully it works this time. There we go. That's one of the biggest accomplishments like CRX owners. Do not have to use a broomstick to hold up your hatch. Uh, you know, you can still get these shocks, so there's no reason to not update them. Uh, my cargo cover is still in one piece for now. Mm, nothing really going on back there. So yeah, that's my CRX in a nutshell. Um, the biggest thing that I wanted to show you, not trying to show off or anything, but uh, finally got a set of real wheels. And so big shout out to my friend Corey. Uh, I drove out to Lompoc and picked these up from him. He had them on his uh, right hand drive uh, Beagle. Um, so yeah, these bad boys will be going on my car soon here. And I bought the, uh, the four time to get matching lug nuts. So I got the lug nuts there. And yeah, we'll get them on the car and see how she looks. So just real quick, um, on my other lug nuts um, that I have, there are some um, Muteki, uh They got all scratched up. I thought the um, the little tool that it came with should have been lined with something, but um, I was doing a little research online. Um, some of the old heads watching the video might know the trick, but. Uh, some of the newer guys, um, apparently one of the tricks is to uh, use an old, use a plastic bag and then um, in order to tighten the, uh, the lug nuts and that should prevent you from scratching, um, scratching them and, make, and keep them looking nice. So just a little tidbit there. Just like that, as you can see, the bag started ripping a little bit, so you just gotta change positions every once in a while. So, here's a glance at my suspension, it's all dirty. Um, I do have the uh, the rear disc brakes somewhere in this garage. I have a few sets, I'm gonna I will convert to rear disc. Got the Skunk 2, and I got the new speed bar under there. In case you were wondering about the, uh, the specs of the tire, uh, shout out to my um, Christmas twin, uh, KJ uh, L. I don't want to butcher your last name, but yeah, uh, those are the specs right there. So this came out pretty good. Uh, I tried to take it around the block, but it's too much uh, rubbing on the wheels. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, Back's look good, it's just the front. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just too much rubbing, but uh, we'll get it figured out and go from there. Uh, so like I said, uh, this is one of my CRXs. The other ones are mostly just uh, shells or um, whatnot, but um, yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe, comment. Um, remember to subscribe to the homies, Young Static. Yeah, buddies, uh, John Martin, Bryant, um, who else? Uh, there's so many other people. Um, uh, CRX Seth, um, Leo, uh, Nate, 
uh, another year from blog. Um, thanks for watching. Um, that's it. Keep the ears on the road. Peace.